3D printing is the future and the future is now. In this video, I'll show you how you can transform an idea inside your head into a physical object that you can use by showing you the basics of CAD or computer aided design in about 10 minutes. Let's get started. Even if you aren't into FPV drone racing, the skill of CAD and 3D printing is useful for everyday life. We use CAD to solve everyday problems we have at home. Camera won't fit your tripod? Make an adapter. Got slippery chair legs? Print some grip for your chair. Got some sharp corners in your shower? Design a corner protector. Have an idea for your own frames? Just design your own frames. The possibilities are endless. Boiled down to this essence, CAD or computer aided design is just adding or subtracting or in CAD terms, extruding and cutting material away. First, there are three things you need to turn your ideas into physical objects you can use. Digital calipers for getting measurements, CAD software to design your idea, and a 3D printer or a way to turn your designs into a physical object. If you're just starting out, there's lots of free CAD software you can use online. SketchUp is a simple online CAD program that's pretty basic and it'll let you export files that can be used by a 3D printer. Then there's Fusion 360. If you're a student or teacher, you can sign up to use it for free. Fusion 360 is loaded with features and even has CAM or computer aided manufacturing software to operate a CNC machine. If you're a total beginner, I would recommend SketchUp. It's online and it's free. Fusion 360 is crazy powerful, so it can be a little bit intimidating. Once you have your design, a 3D printer will turn your ideas into a physical item. I won't get too deep into 3D printers in this video, but you can get a decent printer for under 200 bucks, and there's even companies online that'll print items for you if you're not sure if you wanna get a 3D printer yet. Once you have an idea of what you wanna make, you can start by planning on how to translate the idea in CAD so that it can be turned into a physical object by 3D printing. Here are a couple tips. Tip number one, start with something easy. Since this is a basic intro into CAD and 3D printing, your design should have one flat side. The reason for this is 3D printing works by printing or oozing a melted filament or plastic layer by layer until you have a physical item. If the model doesn't have a flat side to start with the print, it makes printing that object much harder. Without a flat side, you may have issues with the model sticking to the print bed. Tip number two, use metric measurements. This may be a personal preference, but I like to use millimeter measurements rather than inches. It's so much easier to say, for example, 10 millimeters rather than 0.393700079 inches. Let's get started. Since this is an intro into CAD tutorial, I'll just show you a simple overview of the basics of CAD. After this video, you should be able to design very basic items. Once you learn the basics, you'll learn more advanced aspects as you use CAD more and more. I learned CAD in SOLIDWORKS, so that's what I'll be showing you, but the principles of CAD are all the same in all the CAD software. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to design this to turn this into this. This is just a simple gadget that squeezes the toothpaste from the back of the tube to the front of the tube so you can squeeze from the center of the toothpaste tube every time. It's a very simple design and it's easy to design in CAD and easy to print. When you do a 3D design of physical objects, you have to think in three dimensions on the X, Y, and Z axis. Normally the X and Y axis will be the width and height and then the Z axis is the depth. A drawing on a piece of paper would be a 2D or a two-dimensional drawing. You have the X, which is left and right, and then the Y, which is up and down. This is a flat drawing. To make it 3D, you add the Z axis, which adds height to the drawing. So the first thing you do before you start any drawing is you make sure you have the correct measurements of what you want to use. Right here, I'm using millimeters. If you want to use inch, select inch. So I'm going to use millimeters. These are the two main tools that you'll be using in CAD. Sketches, which are drawings, and features are the extrude or add, and cut, which is subtract. Like I said earlier, CAD is basically just adding or subtracting materials. Just sketch, extrude, or cut. Sketch, extrude, or cut. Sketch, or extrude, or cut until your model is done. It's really that simple. So in CAD, these three axes represent planes or sides that you can start your sketches on. I usually start with the top plane because it's easiest to visualize. So to start your sketch, just go ahead and select your top plane and then go up here and then create sketch. 
And then when you're in the sketch, you have all these tools that you can use to make your drawing. You got lines, you got squares, you got slot circles, um, arcs, all these other different tools you can play with. So for our example, we'll just use the rectangle tool and then start from the origin and then just draw out uh, a rectangle. It doesn't matter the, the size right now. So once you've got the rectangle drawn, you're gonna go up here and select dimensions and then you're just gonna uh, give this rectangle dimensions. So for our rectangle, for our um, toothpaste squeezer, we're just gonna give it a, a width of 70 millimeters and then a height of, let's see, 30 millimeters. Whoops. And then once you have your basic drawing, you can close out the dimensions. And then once you have a 2D drawing, you can see this is just a flat drawing. You're going to go up to features and then you're going to extrude. So this is adding material. So just hit extrude. And then from extrude over here, you got the different uh, parameters. You can start wherever you want to start the extrude. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to start from the plane. And then here are different um, more parameters of how much you want to extrude. So blind is just a set um, measurement of how much you want to extrude. So I'm just going to say seven millimeters and then hit enter. So from our flat drawing over there, we extruded the drawing by, um, by adding seven millimeters of material. So next we'll make the slot that the toothpaste will get squeezed through. Now instead of using the, um, the front, right, and top plane, we have a basic cube that we can pick any of these surfaces to start the sketch. So on this one, we're just going to pick the top surface and then go up here and hit sketch again. And then when you hit this normal to, it'll make the, the model flatten out to where you're just looking at that one side and then we're just gonna draw a rectangle that we're gonna cut out so right here we'll just draw a random rectangle and then in CAD there are many ways to center a drawing um, this is the one I like to use if you pick this little center line thing this is like a construction line um, this doesn't draw anything it's just kinda like for your own measurements so I'm just going to pick this and then if you hover this, it'll show you the center of the line. So just click that and then once you select this line, you can uh, do different parameters. So I'm going to just make this horizontal and this, this means this horizontal line will always center this line with this line. And then I'm just going to do another one for the side. So this is center here and then hover here and you'll see a little thingy pop up. Click that and then select the line again and then click horizontal so this these two lines a vertical line and a horizontal line will make sure that this square or this rectangle is always center with this shape so once you have that just go ahead and hit dimensions and then you're just gonna give this a dimension we'll just say it is 65 millimeters wide and then we'll give it a depth of say 1.5 So now once you have the sketch drawn, you can go up over to features. And now instead of extruding, we're going to cut. So cutting is just basically cutting away material. So on this one, I want the, the little slot to go all the way through. So here, I'm just going to go through all. If you hit through all, this little sketch will cut through any part of your model. So let's go here. Now you can see we have a basic little slot in our our drawing. So drawing in CAD is kind of like sculpting clay. Start with a really crude functional drawing like what we have here, then you just start adding details until you have a refined model. So essentially this is a working model of the toothpaste squeezer. We have a slot right here that the end of the toothpaste will be inserted and squeeze the toothpaste out. But we aren't done. Now we add the small details that that improve the functionality and appearance. First, we'll just add a slight curve to the ends of the toothpaste squeezer to make it a little bit easier to draw. So once again, I'm just gonna select this top face and then go to the sketch, create sketch, and then hit normal too, so it's easier to draw. So for this one, I'm gonna draw a center line in this model and I'll show you why later. Draw a center line and then when I do the drawing, I'm gonna pick this little squeakly line so this one you can kind of you can tweak the line however you want. So I'm just gonna do something like that. Something like that. 
and then I'm going to draw another line right here to the center and then from here I'll click mirror entities so if you mirror entity it's this will um, you select what you want to copy and then you mirror hit the center line and then whatever's on this side of the of the line will be copied over to this side select so that's one part of our grip thingy and then the other half I'll just draw a simple line over here and then go um, draw a little arc just to give it a little bit of a curve alright so we have our drawing on the top and bottom now we can go to features and go extrude cut and then I'm gonna cut away this part of the drawing so I'm gonna go through all select and we just gave our little toothpaste squeezer a little bit of a, a grip for your fingers. Next, since this little slot is kind of crude, we're just going to make it a little bit easier for the toothpaste to be fed through. So for that, we're just going to use the chamfer tool. The chamfer tool cuts edges to whatever uh, specifications you give it. So we're just going to give it a, um, a distance of just say 5 millimeters and then we'll keep the 45 degrees. So when I hit this little edge right here, it's going to cut 5 millimeters at 45 degrees. You can kind of see there, hit enter. Now you see we have a little slot that the toothpaste will be easier to feed through. Now last is my favorite tool. You're just going to use the fillet tool. The fillet tool just rounds out edges and just makes things look more pretty. We'll just give it a parameter of two millimeters and then we're just going to start rounding out all these little edges to make it a little bit more round. We'll do this edge, this edge. And we'll give this edge and this edge a little bit of a roundness too. Once you hit that, now you can see it looks much prettier than that blocky thing we have. At this point, we're pretty much done with the design of our toothpaste squeezer. So when you're done with the design, you just go up here and you save this model as a STL. So we're just going to bring it over here and then call it toothpaste squeezer. And then you want to make sure you save this as an STL file because the STL file is the file that's used for 3D printing. So once you have your STL file, now you can put the file into a slicer. A slicer is basically a program that tells the 3D printer how to print this file. So you just want to make sure that your, file, your flat side of your file is facing down. So we're just going to rotate it. And then from there, you're ready to start your print. Hit print and print. I know this is a ridiculously short tutorial but it should demystify CAD enough for you to get in there and start designing basic items. Once you learn the basics you can go on and learn the more advanced aspects and learn to design more advanced items. 3D printing is a whole other topic that needs its own video. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you want to see a video on 3D printing let me know in the comments below and also hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.